very tough moment for me on set was when we were shooting Honest Camping Trip. 101 oh. J, take two. Oh. oh, I'm in hell, I'm in hell. I just don't like being in the woods. I don't understand why anyone likes the woods. I don't know what's good there. <laughs> <laughs> you are such a fucking coward. There were big wasps flying all over the set. At one point, a wasp landed on Trap's hand, and I'm like, Trap, 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 and he's like, oh yeah, that's my bee friend, because he's a fucking psychopath. The nearest hospital's three hours away! Oh! <laughs> oh! 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 God. Oh! I'm normal for being afraid of bees. It's fine to be afraid of bees. This is, a, this is a regular fear that I have. And that's how I would have set up the tents, but. Hey, we're three hours late because none of our cell phones have service. Oh, that's all right. I was just explaining how camping works. I would know I was a Boy Scout in fourth grade. West. Great, I brought a rope and what I assume is an AM, FM flashlight radio. I've never been camping before and I'm truly just guessing. Hey, that's all right. I brought too much stuff. <laughs> it's all brand new. I hope no one notices. Well, I'm gonna go urinate in as private a spot I can find and hope I don't pee all over myself. There are no private spots. <laughs> <laughs> Zach, let me walk you through which plants are edible. Oh, no thanks. I don't want to eat dirty leaves. That's okay. I'm going to anyway. This is mostly for me. I'm a pyromaniac. I'm gonna get the fire going and then obsess over it all night. Fuck, I think I'm allergic to everything here. I might die on this trip. <laughs> Oh, Katie smells like urine. Let's all try to ignore that. I accidentally peed on my shoes. I tried to wipe it off with leaves, but clearly that didn't work. Oh, you think you have problems? I'm on day two of my period and I kind of haven't figured out how to deal with that shit out here. I hope that's not Bez. Ooh, we should cook dinner before it gets too dark out. You know, at five o'clock. Good idea, Cynthia. We've got hot dogs without buns, an unopenable can of refried beans, and stuff to make s'mores. I've got beer, wine, whiskey, and vodka. And drugs! I think the food's ready. No one complained that it's ruined. Oh, awful! I'm only eating this to be polite. I didn't bring any water. I'll just drink beer and have a massive hangover tomorrow. Oh, right, I forgot my tent is broken. I'll have to fix that when I get home. Or you could just forget about it until the next time you go camping three years from now. And that's a good plan. Well, there's no way to clean these sticks, so hopefully nothing took a shit on them. Cool. Woo! Oh no, other campers! What if they're murderers? They're probably just assholes looking to party in the forest. Oh, here's a fun idea. Let's play that game that we all know from camp. You mean the one we all learned slightly differently, so we'll argue the whole time over the right way to play it? Exactly. And if nobody else wants to play, I'm going to sulk the entire rest of the trip. That sounds awful. I'm already drunk. Me, Me too. too. Motherfuck. I'm the most sober one here, so I'm going to have to be responsible. And the nearest hospital is three hours away. Woo! Man, it is way too early for us to be up. The birds are surprisingly loud. Oh, I didn't sleep at all. Let's all get the fuck out of here. Yeah. yeah! My worst day on set was also my messiest day on set when we filmed When You Secretly Love Ranch Dressing. It's just like bats everywhere, <laughs> bats there, bats there. Right ranch. Uh, okay. Our production designer had to manually blow air through a hose of watered down ranch to make it fly out all over everybody. Okay. And we did this before we realized that ranch dressing actually burns your skin. And so what we did for our faces was like a mixture of yogurt and sunscreen. So you can see in the video that it's like a slightly different hue. And <laughs> The rest of our bodies are just burning. <laughs> so I'm like, Clark, if I go to Toronto, you'll be the first person to know. <laughs> Wings? And would anybody like ranch with that? No thanks, we're not goddamn hillbillies. <laughs> <laughs> Do you love ranch, but find it shameful? Then try new Hidden Hidden Valley Ranch. With Hidden Hidden Valley Ranch, you'll always have some delicious creamy dressing right up your sleeve. Literally. Everyone knows ranch is a poor man's unsophisticated sauce. But that doesn't mean it's not delicious. 
hidden, hidden Valley Ranch is easy to use. Just buckle in the backpack, run the hose along your arm, and pump the pedal to pressurize the hose and provide easy access to that beautiful, creamy ranch. Hidden, hidden Valley Ranch. It's just too good, even if it does make you feel like a trash possum. Zach? I haven't seen you in forever. You get a bear hug. Wait, no, 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 no. no you got to no, get a bear no, hug. No, 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 no. Oh! Holy mother of shit. My roughest day on set in the short amount of time that I've been here was on I swear I didn't wreck the bathroom. Yeah, hot poops. Oh wait, what? Hot poops on set. Oh fuck. The bathroom was the grossest thing I've ever seen. It was nauseating to watch. There was a puppeteer, her name was Alexis, wonderful professional puppeteer. And then me leaning against the stall doing the kind of like <laughs> And Alexis, again, a constant professional, had her head fully up under the bowl of uh, this uh, toilet. Then she has to syllable for syllable match every noise I was making. I forced that woman to live under a toilet for a day. Everyone's going to think you did it all. Hi Alexis, I'm so sorry. Just gotta wash my hands. You okay in there? Get up in there. Oh, gotta do more of the dirty business. Yeah. Uh, you need something weird? Or, uh. washing my hands. I didn't even use the bathroom. I can feel my eyes burning. But it wasn't me. He says a goblin did it. Is that the best you can do, seriously? Fuck, man. Oh, God. It smelled so rank in here that I had to come check it out. Yeah, yeah it Zach's was, it was ass that. exploded or that. something. I don't know. <laughs> oh, God, it's all over you. There we have it. You know, undeniable proof. No, it wasn't, it wasn't me. It was him. He did it. <laughs> Grant? Normally that would make perfect sense, but you're the only one in here, Zach. It was you. <sighs> you're weak. Oh my god. Guys, I just looked it up and Zach, this actually makes you a sexual predator. Oh, oh that is it. Have to go. You have to go. Yeah. Right? Well, crazy that that's the last we'll ever see of Zack, and that this was his legacy. I had a really tough moment on set with Bar Trivia Ruins Your Night. Here we go, and action. Sometimes when you're writing a sketch, you hit a moment where you think, this is what is comedically the most fun thing to do, or someone will explode, or someone will be in like a pool of cottage cheese, 
uh, or in some cases, uh, Zach will write a sketch like Bar Trivia Ruins Your Night, and then it will have to be me who gets covered in blood at the end of the sketch. And with those shots, you will really only get one chance to get it right. Fake blood is all just like sugar and corn syrup, the stickiest, sweetest, grossest stuff in the world. Action! <laughs> 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 And then you can't really clean yourself up that well, so you, you get into your car and track, uh, track syrup all over your car. This <laughs> looks like a fantastic meal. <laughs> it does. What's up, fuckers? You know what that air horn means? It's trivia night! Fuck, these guys are always so aggressive. I really don't want to play. I hate trivia night. Hey, hey man, I, we're just gonna eat, I think. Yeah, we we don't really want to play. Sorry, fuckers. Everyone's playing. It's trivia night. Besides, winner gets a free drink, and I know we're all looking to get fucked up. Let's get it farted in here. All right. What animal has the longest gestation period? Mm. Uh, Come on, you fuckers! This one's easy! Could you stop calling us fuckers, please? And there's already a table playing. Why do we have to play? Because if you don't play, then they can't beat anyone! Time's up! Ding, 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 ding! The answer is elephants! <laughs> Whatever. I know I'm fucking funny. Okay, quick score check in. In last place is team. Team uh, and in first place, the Cock Squad! Oh yeah, Cock Squad! Let me the shit out of you. You're an adult. We don't want to play. Everyone plays. If you don't want to play, then get out of here. We're like halfway through this meal. I hate this. That's my move. Question two! What is the chemical symbol for helium? Helium is your time! It's H-E. And time! Circle gets a square. It looks like everyone in the bar got this one right. <laughs> looks like you fucks aren't as dumb as you look. That's enough. Hey, hey, whoa, man. It's part of my job to bring some personality, OK? Sorry if you can't handle that. No, you're right. Uh, I guess I guess I can understand that. OK, cool, thanks. Hey, by the way, that free beer? I'll give you one if you come to my stand-up show tomorrow. It's at Giggle Sharks, and it's two drink minimum. So I was joking. I can't get you that free beer. Fuck you! You don't get comedy! You don't get to live! Oh, I'm sorry! I'm sorry! Oh my god, I'm so sorry! I'm so sorry! Too much? My most challenging day on set would have to be when we shot disarming conversational landmines. <laughs> it was a pretty hot day and it was super hot in that house. I was in that bomb suit the whole time, which is pretty heavy, a little bit confining, and also hot just on its own. It got a little sweaty. And this was the second sketch that we shot that day and then had to jump into this one. Oh boy. Sorry. And this one took, I want to say, like around seven, maybe seven hours just to shoot. Pretty uncomfortable. Thanks again for inviting me to Thanksgiving. Oh, yeah, of course. Nobody should be alone on Thanksgiving. I'll introduce you to everybody. This is Uncle Dante, his wife, Aunt Tiffany, hey. Grandma, and Granddad. Great meeting all of you guys. You have a lovely home. Raph's told me, what are you doing? There's going to be a lot of landmines in these conversations and I'm gonna defuse them. So, where's my favorite granddaughter? She's at her boyfriend's this Thanksgiving, Mom. No child of mine would ever get away with that. I know you're not saying that we're bad parents. Is that what your mama trying to say? You're trying to say that we're bad parents? You see how your son turned out? <laughs> how was Sunday Mass, Grandma? Mass was wonderful. Did anybody hear that beep? We should all go as a family next week. Oh, we prefer not to support an organization that covers sexual abuse. <laughs> How about some football? 
You know, I still have all the newspaper clippings of Dante when he played in high school. Isn't that sweet? There's that beep again. I think I heard it that time. Why is that boy kneeling during the national anthem? He's protesting. I don't care what the reason is. He should not be protesting his country's national anthem. He's not protesting the national anthem. He is protesting inequality. What is this? You do not desecrate the flag and the national anthem. That's just a total lack of respect. Oh, no. This is why we need to make America great again. Trump! Oh, oh Mama! Oh. Everybody loves Oprah! Oh, Nessie, Oprah? Didn't I hear that Oprah was gonna run for president? Well, she certainly has my vote. See, that's what I'm talking about. Now you're talking. I, I, listen, Oprah can't do no wrong. She's solid gold. Every, everybody loves Oprah. Thank you. Thank you. So everybody get back 75 meters! Leave him, he's a goner! I have the suit. Save yourself! There's too many locks. There's too many locks. Do you understand? I tried! It's your grandmother. No, 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 don't! I never loved her. A very tough day for a lot of people on set was if hand turkeys were real. I called dip on the finger. Mm. They had a very gross prop on set that people had to put into their mouths later. Our production designer, Rick, sort of Frankenstein this hand turkey bird thing. And I told the cast that they could nibble on them, but they probably shouldn't, you know, really eat them. That's for seconds. So oh, good. It's dripping oh, so beautifully. <laughs> and that to me is maybe the grossest thing that I walked away with. It's Thanksgiving, a time for family, mountains of mashed potatoes, and kids tracing out hand turkeys. And no one knows hand turkeys like Jamberly Farms. It looks just like mine. Uh -huh. Jamberly Farms hand turkeys are plump and succulent. They're delicious whether you prefer finger meat, the little leggy bits, or the part that's both a thumb and a face. Once you've had a real Jamberly Farms hand turkey, you'll never scrub the memory from your mind, <laughs> no matter how hard you try. Yum. <laughs> because at Jamberly Farms, all our hand turkeys live the way Mother Nature intended, briefly, if at all. And there's a turkey sized for any appetite, large, medium or presidential. Got leftovers? Jamberly Farms hand turkeys make for great turkey burgers. Ah. Mm -mm. Ah. So this Thanksgiving, let us give you a hand with dinner. We know you'll give it two thumb slash faces way up. Jamberly Farms hand turkeys, what nightmare hath man wrought? Smoked turkey legs, ground beef, pork, chicken, pork sausage, chorizo, chicken thighs, whole chicken skin, chicken bones, spare ribs, and onions for nails. So. Hi, it's Mike Trapp from College Humor. Click here to subscribe, click here for more fun things, and send help to keep me from sinking. Please, please help, please help.